Hi there, um, this video comes with some exercise files and a cheat sheet for Photoshop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for those. Okay, it's part of my larger course, which you can go and check out. There'll be a link there as well. Um, all right, enjoy the video. Hi there, the name of this video is pretty much a giveaway. We're gonna turn colorful images into black and white images. But the cool thing is, is we're gonna have lots of control about how it goes black and white. Same with this one, black and white it. Okay, color, black and white. We're even gonna add a tint to recolor it. All right, exciting times. Let's get into it in Photoshop. Okay, so to get started, let's file open. And let's open up two files from the color folder. It's called black and white. There is an 01 and an 02. We'll start with 01. Now there's a few ways in Photoshop to make things black and white. The best way, in my opinion, is under adjustments. There's a slider here. Okay, this one here called black and white. Second row down, third one in. Click on that. Again, it's this non-destructive layer, which is cool because you can turn it on and off. And up here, okay, depending on what you last did, okay, you might set it back to default and it's made it black and white. Now what's cool about this is that it is adjustable. So if I turn this eyeball off, you'll see that this, this is kind of considered reds, right? But let's say when I convert it to black, it's this gray, but say I want it to be darker, the reds I can drag this way. You can see you can kind of like, you got more control about it going black and white rather than going full black and white and then trying to fix it with something like levels. You've got this kind of full control here. So you just go through and decide like how you want this thing to do. So let's say I find that too dark. So I'm just gonna raise the reds. Okay, I want this color here. What color is it? It is like a cyan. So I'm gonna grab the cyan and try and make it lighter. I'm trying to make it a little bit more monochromatic, I guess. So you just work your way through until you find something you're happy with. Now, um, one little tip for you is this option here. Okay, if you hover above it, it's got a terrible name. Okay, it's got this drag an image and modify slider. Okay, so you can click on this little hand here and what it allows you to do, instead of having to like work out what color that is, you saw before I turn the eye on and off, I'm like your cyan, your magenta, and then turning it back on and trying to adjust them here. But you can actually just drag on this. So I've got this selected, it goes a darker color. And let's say I want to darken up this, I click hold with my mouse, drag it right, to make it lighter, drag it left to make it darker. So often this is just easier. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of just drag them around. Maybe the background needs to be a little bit lighter. So it picks the colors for you. Say this guy here, I want you to be a bit darker to match this. Now, the, obviously the colors are being used in more than one place. So the, you will find that, okay, you might have to rob this one and kind of deal with, deal with the consequences where the color's being used over here as well. Later on when we get into masking, you will be able to kind of just work on a particular object. But for the moment, we're just doing some adjustments, clicking, holding, and dragging. Let's jump to the second example, do the same thing, and I'll show you one last trick. So adjustments, we're gonna to go to black and white. I love this little inky stuff in water. We'll use this a little bit throughout the course, but I'm introducing it now mainly because I am sick of looking at shoes, okay? I've decided for a shoe theme for this course. <laughs> I kind of regret it. We're only at like video 10. So now we've got ink and water, and what we're going to do, the same thing as before, we can just adjust these, okay? But it's probably easier to click on this and say, because you see there's like two main colors in this ink splodge thing. Okay, so I'm gonna turn them on, and you can just kind of start dragging. And let's say I wanna make it everything darker, so I'm just dragging it to the left, okay? And it just kind of picks what colors. You, okay, work around, work around. Maybe a bit too dark down here. Okay, so that on art dragger thing is pretty cool. I turn it off. The thing I wanted to show you was this thing here called tint. We kind of looked at something called colorize when we did hue and saturation. This thing here works the exact same way. It's just a handy way of doing it. Black and whiting it in one color and going to tint. And this color here is the color that's been applied. So, so it's got the sepia old world color now. I can click on this and you can pick any color you like. So you drag this hue slider up and down to find the kind of color range you want. Let's say I want kind of a, kind of a warm pink. Click OK. And now when I go to my little on art slider here, I'm gonna to decide to drag it. So it's just a bit brighter. Cool, huh? So it's a good way of, you know, you're meant to be using it just to tint it, but we've totally colorized this thing here. So there's the extra little tip. And that is it. Black and whiting is pretty easy. You get a bit of control, a little bit of extra adjustment with this little slider, and you can tint it if you need to. And always, it's non-destructive, so this thing is just underneath, ready to go. You can delete this layer by clicking it, and see this little trash can down here? You can delete him. I'm super happy with myself, so I am going to leave it here, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. 
Hi, it's me again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up really helps me and what I'm doing. Um, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I release a video like this every week. Um, also know that this is part of my larger course. Okay, so this is like a free part of it. There's a larger course called Photoshop Essentials. So you could go check that out. There's a link in the description for that full course. Also know that there's exercise files. Those are free to download. Go, go check that out, link in the description. Another link in the description will be the cheat sheet. So I make it like a PDF uh, cheat sheet for Photoshop with all the tips and tricks you can print off and stick next to your computer and be more awesome. Link in the description. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, hi, Dada.